Field of Stone. Item number, SCP-1391. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1391 is to be surrounded by a 3-meter-tall barbed wire fence. A guard force under the guise of local Algonquin tribal police is to maintain continual external patrols in the vicinity of SCP-1391, and will report any damage for immediate repair and further observation for subsequent attempted breaches. Any civilians approaching the exclusion zone are to be notified they are trespassing on protected Algonquin reservation lands and escorted from the area. Civilians displaying resistance or refusal are to be detained, treated with Class C amnestic, and relocated to the nearest population center. Description: SCP-1391 is a 12-hectare parcel of land in blank, Canada that borders Algonquin Reserve lands under protected status. The land was previously owned by blank, a local art professor. On the property are, upon last inspection, 137 large, concrete abstract depictions of screaming heads. Engraved on each side of the heads near the bottom is a name and date, later determined to be the designated individual's date of death. Foundation investigation has uniformly determined that names sourced from the stones match those of individuals who have at some point visited the location. Of note is the observation that stones bearing the names of suicide victims are variously disfigured. It has yet to be determined through corroboration of death records and incidental observation that the heads appear at or around the time of death of the individual named on a given statue. The stones have been noted to uniformly appear in locations not under current observation, such as around the perimeter fence, or observation posts. Due to an apparent tendency for stones belonging to individuals with similar causes of death to group together, efforts by Foundation personnel to observe formation of a stone focused on these areas. Despite more intense observation, these efforts were ultimately futile, with new heads in some cases manifesting between frames of CCTV footage, or in one notable case, in the blink of an eye as reported by a dismounted patrol element. Addendum 1391-A, Acquisition. Interviews with the previous owner show that blank purchased the property in the summer of blank with the stated intention of using it as a retreat for his art students. Following his wife's death during renovation of the property, Mr. Blank discovered a concrete head bearing her name approximately 400 meters from a centrally located barn. Upon examination of more remote sections of the property, he discovered hundreds of the heads. Patrols of the site corroborate his testimony that in most instances the heads were partially or completely destroyed, with most showing signs of weathering and disrepair. Mr. Blank made the decision to market excursions on the land as an evolving memorial to local personages. The object drew the Foundation's attention following a legal proceeding between Mr. Blank and a visitor to the property. A disagreement broke out when the visitor discovered his daughter's name on a stone, despite her having visited the property only once, and never having spoken to the owner. During an interview with a local asset, Mr. Blank admitted he only had built a handful of the heads himself, and offered to mark those from the ones that spontaneously manifested. The Foundation assumed ownership of the land through what was publicly labeled as transfer of property rights to the adjacent Algonquin tribe. To maintain deniability, Mr. Blank was administered a Class B amnestic compensated, and returned to society. Addendum 1391-B. As of blank, no additional personnel are to be assigned to internal security operations involving SCP-1391.